Hello friends, in this segment we will talk about pros, an Indian American woman in space. That is none other than Kalpana Chavla. There was a tragedy in space which happened in the space shuttle of Columbia which breaks into flames. It was a heavy news which was heard in 2003. It was an unprecedented space tragedy and this uh, US space shuttle Columbia it was carrying India born American astronaut Kalpana Chavla and not only her with other six members. So including Kalpana there were seven people inside that space shuttle and this shuttle broke apart into pieces into flames when it was about to land especially on Saturday 1st February in 2003 and because of this flames which happens on the space shuttle it killed all the seven people those who were there on the board. The shuttle lost contact with NASA exactly about 9 a.m. when it was about to land. It was flying at an altitude of over 200,000 feet and traveling at over 20,000 km per hour when it was about to reach the land and when it lost its uh, contact with NASA. Columbia had left it off especially at the date 16 January 2003 from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. It had stayed in orbit for 16 days and the seven member crew conducted 80 experiments before it got into flame. So including Kalpana Chawla, the other six men members, to altogether seven people, they have done 80 experiments within that 16 days of time. And it is uh, fine to be that it was the 28th space flight of Columbia and this shuttle was said to be good for 100 flights. Kalpana Chawla said that she has never dreamt as a child that she will become a great person like this and who will cross the frontiers of space. Her parents allowed her to continue her studies once, he com once she completed her studies in Tagore School. After that, she joined in an engineering college. After getting the Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering, uh, apart from the position of her father, she went for a master's degree. His father was not interested for that, but even then, with that a position, she started to pursue her studies by doing a master's degree in United States of America. Later, she earned her PhD too in aerospace engineering. Then she became the first Indian American woman astronaut to blast off from the launch pad at Cape Carmel, Florida. So somehow after completing all her educations, she became one among the renowned personality. And she too participated in a successful mission in space. Her family from India, they cheered up her and they uh, paved off uh, at the Kennedy Space Center as they watched the Columbia lift up. They were all there to send off her in that uh, Florida. Kalpana was born in Karnal, Haryana, but she was naturalized as a US citizen and she was also married to a flight instructor who is named as Jean Pierre Harrison. Besides being an astronaut, she was also capable of driving single and multi-engine land airplanes, single engine aeroplanes and also gliders. She was also a certified flight instructor. After qualifying as a pilot, she began to uh, pursue other things. She started to apply to NASA Space Shuttle Program and she was the first who was hired as a research scientist at NASA. In 1994, she was selected by NASA for training as an astronaut. When she was asked, uh, like being a woman in her field, the, her reply was like, I really never uh, ever thought while pursuing my studies or doing anything else that I was a woman or a person from a small city or a different country. I pretty much had my dreams like anyone else and I followed them. And people who were around me fortunately always encouraged me and said, if that is what you want to do, carry on. 
these words show the encouragement which uh, which was uh, got by her from her parents and friends those who were around her she had a courage to pursue her dreams kalpana's first space mission in the space shuttle columbia was for 15 days 16 hours and 34 minutes long during this time she went around the earth 252 times by traveling 10.45 million kilometers the crew was included with the japanese and ukrainian astronaut the crew has performed so many experiments especially pollinating plants to observe food growth in space and then the test for making stronger metals then faster computer chips and all these experiments cost 56 million dollars and on the saturday night when the news about the columbia disaster broke there was shock and disbelief so all these experiments everything happened and it was the day saturday when it was about to land but before that unfortunately it uh, the shuttle got with an accident and it blasted into fire so once the people of karnal they come to know about this news all those people all those people in that village they spend that uh, night as a sleepless one and thousands of people thousands of people were uh, looking forward for the news by sitting in front of the television they were all looking forward to see kalpana chawla and the entire crew members to be alive they believed uh, them to come alive again but then a journalist was wrote uh, wrote in her article she was a heroine it takes enormous ability to become an astronaut you need to know a lot about everything from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering in this age of super specialization you must have encyclopedic knowledge to be an astronaut her achievement is of inspiring so she achieved a lot but unfortunately the final ending up it uh, it got up with the fire accident which happens in that shuttle for millions of young indians the story of kalpana chawla a girl from a small town who touched the skies had become an inspiration really truly it was an inspiration for all the people especially for women so there was a message which was sent forth by her when she was on in abode from uh, she was sending this message to her students in chandigarh her message was like the path from dreams to success does exist may you have the vision to find it the courage to get on to it wishing you a great journey so when she was on the board she was uh, she was there wishing uh, all her students by telling that the pathway for your success the pathway for your dreams is always available but it is your courage which uh, has to lead you towards that path if you need to reach out to that success you need to have the courage to carry on with your dream so this was the last message which was uh, which was given forth by her to her students i think till now even today she was the uh, she was the best example for all the women 